Back here though, we are starting off with the clouds. They're just continuing to stream on in from the north. Uh, those will hang around through the rest of the morning. By this afternoon though, they do start to uh, break on up and I do think we'll see some sunshine. Temperatures this morning chilly. We've got 40s on the North Shore, 50s here in New Orleans, 40s down in Galliano, and we've got the 50s and upper 40s down towards the bayou uh, and river parishes as well. So a chill in the air this morning, but it's not uh, cold, cold. It is going to be a cool day, though. We only get into the upper 50s later this afternoon. There's your sunshine coming out by later this afternoon and clear skies uh, going into tonight. It is going to be chilly tonight, so if you do have plans outdoors, uh, temperatures will be dropping into the 50s, eventually the 40s as we wake up. Uh, Monday morning with even some mid to upper 30s on the North Shore, but no really freezing temperatures expected. So there's your clouds this morning, slowly starting to break down as we go into the afternoon, uh, giving us a, some sunshine later today. And then as we go into tonight, the clouds move back in. Tomorrow we are going to have quite a bit of cloud cover, it looks like, in and out, especially some upper level clouds. And then by Monday night to early Tuesday, it looks like we could have some showers building back in with showers, just a few possible Saturday afternoon, but still some sunshine during the afternoon. So we're going to get into a warmer pattern, but we're also going to get into somewhat of a more active pattern with rain chances. Not really high rain chances uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday, only about a 20% chance. Thursday is going to be our best shot at seeing some showers, maybe a rumble of thunder as that cold front moves in and then showers lingering into Friday and maybe even into Saturday as well. But that's also when that cold air starts to arrive. So the cold air has already arrived in the Midwest. It is going to remain cold up there for the next week or so. Most places uh, below zero up here this morning. It still looks like we will see some of that cold air get down to us by Friday and into the weekend. Now, I was talking about our model differences yesterday. They're still all over the place, uh, but we still think that it will at least get down here um, by the end of the week and into the weekend. So we get into the upper 70s, nearly 80 degrees Wednesday and Thursday. Then on Friday, the cold front or the colder air moves in and then on Saturday we see the coldest of the air. Now, if we do see freezing temperatures in New Orleans, which we haven't seen in uh, about three years, it looks like it would likely be on Sunday morning. Now, now that's not written in stone, uh, but if we do see the freezing temperatures kind of widespread area wide, it would be Saturday night into Sunday morning. Then the question turns to, well, is there going to be any moisture left in the atmosphere to maybe get some sleet or ice? I don't think we'll see snow in this event. There's going to be too much warm air aloft, uh, but if we see any frozen precipitation, it would likely have to be Saturday late Saturday Saturday going into Sunday, but at the same time, that's when the moisture is moving out. So there's a lot of moving parts to this. It all has to come together just perfect to get something to fall from the sky that's frozen. At this point on our meter, our frozen precip meter, we're still going with not likely. So uh, it's not impossible yet, but it's just not likely at this point. So today, Try to get out there this afternoon, soak up some of the sunshine. We're not going to have a lot of it this week, especially on Monday. Uh, we will warm up, though, upper 60s. No freezing temperatures Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday for sure. It's actually going to be warm, humid, and breezy. Then showers move in by Thursday. That's when the cold air moves in. We're in the 50s on Friday, struggling to get out of the 40s on Saturday. I will say, don't be surprised to see that weekend forecast next week flip-flop around quite a bit over the next couple of days as we try to get a better understanding of what it's going to do. But at this point, it still looks like we'll get some of that colder air.